Is the oil going to squirt out on me or anything? No, these are brand new. They have okay. not been used. Yes. And then after you spin it around two or three times, tighten it a little bit, a little like a quarter turn. With this? Yep. There you okay. go. That's, that's it. That's it. Oh, okay. Did I do it too you, much? Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. sounds like you're getting it already. Yeah. Keep going. Ooh, okay. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Whoa. What's going on guys? Jimmy here. Hi. <laughs> What's going on guys? I'm Jimmy. And I'm Ferris. And this is One Road. Today we're gonna to be looking at two oil filters and the first one is by Fram and the second one is by Fram. The one in Ferris's right hand is Fram's cheapest oil filter I could find at Walmart and the one in her left hand is Fram's most expensive oil filter I could find at Walmart. This one is the reason why we're doing this video. This is the Fram Ultra Synthetic and apparently this thing is really good. So what we're gonna do is cut them both open today with this oil, with this oil filter cutter opener and we hold, are gonna- Hold on a second. There's actual filter cutter openers? There is actual oil filter cutter openers, and this is what they look like, yeah. So we're gonna cut these both open and take a look at what's inside and see what the heck the difference is. Okay, let's do it. This one was the more expensive one or no? Yes, that one is the Ultra Synthetic, which is the more expensive one, and you can kind of just remember that the gold one is the more expensive one there. So right off the bat, what do you think is different between the two of them? Um, only the color. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I thought, but that's okay. All right, so we have them both out. You know what I realized now that I'm holding both? This one is heavier. Oh, that's feel. interesting. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is heavier. I'd actually even say that these holes on the outside on the orange Fram are a bit larger than the holes here on the gold Fram, the ultra synthetic. Just from looking at it from the top here, they both seem to have the same exact anti-drain back valve, but I guess we'll verify that once we cut these open and take it out. Both appear to have the same exact gasket. Um, so is this I, the gasket? That is the gasket. And is this the lid? From a design standpoint, I think they are both obviously identical. These are both for the same exact vehicle. But I think where the change is gonna be is gonna be with the filter media on the inside. So let's see if we find any other changes. Ready to start cutting it open? Can I try? Sure, grab the scissors okay. and just go for it. Hand me the big thing. The way we use this, do you wanna know how to use this thing? Yes, please. Okay, first we have to open it up so that okay. it's large enough to accept the size of the filter. Okay. Is the oil going to squirt out on me or anything? No, these are brand new. They have okay. not been used. So we're basically just going to put the filter in there. You tighten it down. You can see that's the little blade that's going to cut. Okay. And you're just going to tighten it a little bit, right? So it's, it's holding like the filter in there now. but like giant. Yeah, so you're going to keep a good grip on the filter and then just start spinning it around. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yes. And then after you spin it around two or three times, tighten it a little bit, a little like a quarter turn. With this? Yep, there you go. Okay. That's that's it, that's it. Oh, okay. Did I do it too you, much? Well, you might. <laughs> Just because if you do it too much at one time, it might not be able to okay. turn. Keep going? Yeah, that's it, that's good. You only do it a little bit at a time, okay. like a quarter to a half turn. Okay, Sounds like you're getting it already. Yeah. Keep going, Ooh, okay. keep going, keep going. There we go. Whoa! So, do you know what that's called? A rubber gasket? Well, it's the anti-drain back valve. And shut what off. that does is keeps oil in the filter when your vehicle is shut off. Why does it stink? All right, well, the first one is cut open. Okay. So let's set this one aside for now, and then we'll cut the second one open, and we will compare them at the same time. How about that? Okay. All right, so we have the Fram Extra Guard in the filter cutter. I'm just gonna cut the lid off of this thing here. All right, oh, big difference already. So right off the bat, just cutting this thing open, we can see that this one has a cardboard end cap on both sides. So that's how you use a filter cutter opener. Okay, very weird invention, cool. Yeah, so open those up and let's see what you see. Okay, so the cheaper one, yes, has cardboard right here and this one has metal. Mm-hmm. 
anything with the lids. Man, these do smell pretty bad. Yeah, they smell. It's almost like a <laughs> really, really bad smell. This one's heavier. So this lid is heavier. So uh -huh. what that means is that this steel is thicker. We'd have to weigh it to verify it. I mean, it's very close. I mean, they both seem to be the same thickness just by looking at them. These look the same. The uh, anti-drain back valves, mm -hmm. they do both look identical. So those are definitely made out of the same, same materials. Oh, Seems. Wow. Okay, this is a big difference. Okay, so this we do have like... a major difference here, yeah. So this is a synthetic material I don't know exactly what it's made out of, but uh, it's supposed to be a lot better at capturing dirt. And on the box, it actually says down to 20 microns. And I think other oil filters, don't quote me on this, but uh, most of them are, are down to 30 microns. So if that's true, then this for some reason might be a better filter material. I don't know. I feel that one just kind of feels like paper. Yeah. It doesn't feel bad. The pleats are very spaced out here in the back, so they're not like really evenly spaced. Is that a problem? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but, but other than that, it seems to be built fairly well. It's not like there's a whole bunch of uh, glue, you know, all over the thing. I mean, it seems to be manufactured really nice. Inside, it's uh, all metal. So we have a metal structure on the inside for integrity there. and. Um, it actually doesn't seem like a bad filter at all. I mean, if you're just running like a typical car um, and you're not racing it up and down the streets every single day and you don't need an extremely high performance filter and you change your oil and filters on time all the time, which is, I would say between three and 5,000 miles, um, I can't see why this wouldn't be okay. What was the price difference? So the price difference is pretty big. This was less than four bucks. Okay. Um, so that's a very affordable oil filter, especially if you want to change it, you know, often. often? Yeah. And um, how much was this one? So this one was um, under nine bucks. I think it was eight something. Okay. I bought these both at Walmart. It's basically double the price. Yeah, pretty much double the price here. If you want better filter material, if you want better filtration, probably higher flow, probably more filtration for longer before the thing gets clogged because it does seem like there is more material here. Yeah, this definitely is a much better built filter, but then again, it costs twice as much. So if you have a big heavy duty truck or you it's just- It's only four bucks at the end of the day, right? Four dollars difference, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. No. So if you just want peace of mind, you know, you're driving the same car that we were talking about earlier, but you want peace of mind for four extra dollars, I'd say go with the ultra synthetic all day long. Looking at the bypass spring on both of them, they are both stamped steel. Both of them look literally identical. So no difference there, pretty identical. I mean, I can't imagine them making them any different for either one. It's just the same, it seems like the same stamp, you know, the same material and everything. It also seems like the shell is the same thickness of material. It seems to be the same strength. I mean, my brain's going back and forth as to which one seems to be stronger, but <laughs> see. I think that they're both exactly the same. Yeah, these do feel the same. Yeah. So interestingly, we all know Fram. Um, they've been around forever. These are both made in the USA, um, so they're not outsourced or anything like that. They are USA made oil filters if that gives you any sort of confidence. What one would you use in your truck? So for me, I think that I would go with the ultra synthetic. I would run this. If I was just doing an oil change, I was at Walmart picking up my Penn's oil or whatever, and I just felt like buying a filter there, I would totally run this. Um, this seems to be a really nice filter. I mean, it's a great build quality from what I've seen with other filters. This media seems to be really nice. It's got metal end caps. Um, everything is just uh, nice about it. This one, although it's got cardboard end caps, I mean, I don't think it's a terrible filter. It's gonna filter your oil. I just wouldn't run this for an extended period of time. That's the issue I feel like for me, in my mind, what I'm thinking is this sort of thing will break down and clog up a lot sooner than this. So if you just want that peace of mind, I mean, it is double the price. 
you're saying like it's only four bucks, but it's yeah. double the price. Um, if, Maybe if you have like a big truck, you mm -hmm. use this. If you drive like a Saturn, you use this. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to the people who drive Saturns because actually I thought Saturns were awesome back in the day. I wanted it to be my first car. Yeah. Saturns were really cool. But uh, I think you're right. I think if you drive a truck, you definitely probably steer away from this just because of the possibility that this doesn't filter for as long. And, you know, with a heavy duty application, like say you're towing something or, you know, you're out four wheeling and who knows, just, I, I would assume trucks have a bigger engine. Um, this actually, by the way, is the filter for my 95 Suburban. So this would have been for a uh, GM 350, the 5.7 liter V8. So, I mean, they obviously make them for those trucks. I, they obviously test them. They obviously design them to work for those vehicles. Um, I would run that. I just wouldn't run it for like 5,000 miles. I'd probably want to change that at 3,000. That's just me. Yeah, and he is, you know, particularly particular, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this one, I would run this for 5,000. I and feel be like comfortable and be like, cool, I'm good. Yeah. Um, but that goes to say like any filter, like even the most expensive filter, I still, me personally, I wouldn't run past 5,000. I mean, at 5,000 miles with the driving conditions that we have today, you know, especially being in the summer, hot, you know, lots of traffic, yeah. even going off road or towing or what have you, you want to change your oil and filter more often than, you know, I would say like sometimes manufacturers say you need an oil change every 10,000 miles. That's like in the most ideal conditions, like you're driving, you know, long distances and, you know, it's cool outside and you're not towing and, you know, the most picturesque conditions you can get in. Yeah, maybe your oil can last that long and your oil filter. But even more than the oil, I think the oil filter is... Do you change this only when you change your oil or can you change this? Okay, that's a, that is a great question yes? okay. because you can change your oil filter more often than your oil. Okay. If you, for some reason, just needed a quick top up, right? Before a road trip or something? Yeah, let's okay. say you checked your oil before you're heading out on a road trip and it's down a quart or something or it's a little bit low. Before you top that up, you could swap out your oil filter mm -hmm. only. So you could unscrew your current oil filter. You're going you're gonna to get dirty. Um, it's going to take, you know, the amount of oil that's held within the filter and a little more might come out, but mm -hmm. you can change just your oil filter just if... Buy you some time. If yeah, you're it, in a hurry. exactly. Like, let's say you forgot to buy oil or something, but you do have an oil filter on the shelf. You can, you can get away with... I would say changing that filter and topping it off, you know, maybe you have a quart on the shelf or something. But. You know what I say we do? What? I say you put one of these in the 95, drive around for a month or so, then put this one in the 95, drive around for a month or so, okay. and then see what they look like after for another video. Okay. So like you're saying, mm -hmm. like what we just talked about, don't change the oil. Uh-huh. So, so run with one of these in the yes. 95. Yep. The 95 Suburban, by the way, guys, if you don't know. See, that there is going to be a difference, though, because whichever one I run first is going to have the cleaner oil to begin with. Okay. So what if I ran a whole... See, I, I wouldn't want to run... What if I ran this for 3,000 miles, okay. did an oil change, and then ran this for 3,000 miles, all with the same oil and with a brand new oil change? Mm -hmm. And then we looked at both of them afterward and see which one looks dirtier. That's a really good idea. Okay. Bottom line, both boxes here say particles greater than 20 microns. Mm. I don't know if that's just like how they test all their filters or if that's just a blanket statement that they write on everything because we're looking at two completely different filter medias, yeah. two completely different filters here, but both of them are saying down to 20 microns. And I'm pretty sure other filters don't say 20. Maybe they do. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below. Um, I don't know everything about filters. I just thought it'd be interesting to cut these two open since this is pretty much the cheapest you can get at Walmart. And this is the most expensive of the Fram options you can get at Walmart. Um, I think this is the most expensive Fram option they have. Do you need this still? Uh, yeah, for other videos. Okay. Don't cut it. Never mind. 
I just really wanted what, this. What would be the point I of cutting know. it? I was just curious about it. Thanks um, for having me today on Yeah, the road, thank honey. you. I'm his wife, by the way. Did I not say that? I don't know. I think I just said my name at the beginning. Oh. Yeah, this is my wife, if, I, if we didn't mention that. I don't know if we did. If you guys like this video and you like having my wife in them, comment below, hit the thumbs up, let us know if we should do more like this. You know, not all regarding oil filters, but about anything. We could, we could do a video like this about a brand new truck that's just been released or something like that. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. So that'll do it for these. I think um, we looked pretty closely at these and uh, I'm, I'm actually impressed. Got to say, I I'm, am too. I I'm didn't impressed. think I'd see any difference. I'm like, oh, it's an oil filter. Like, whoop de do. But there is a significant difference. I bet you have never even really seen inside of an oil filter, let alone cut yeah. one open. I didn't even know what we were doing until <sighs> five minutes ago. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Ferris. And this is One Road, and we will see you on the next one.